Hi everybody, welcome back. So we've recovered to the garage the vehicles we had out and we're away to do a contract since there's two of us. I thought it would be a good idea to do one of the big contracts, big-ish, called Pipe Dream. So Jack's going to get the heavy duty, heavy duty fuel tanker, is that right? And I'll go and get the bricks and metal beam. So I'll get the bricks first. They're two slots and the metal beam's two slots as well. Uh, we're taking that to the factory, so I've got to go up to the warehouse first. So I might take the metal beams. I wonder if I can attach these on the back of here. Well, well, well. What I'm thinking is that I, I would need a total of four slots anyway, and this this is three. So if I can take this trailer which I can, then I can just get the bricks in the back of here. So, I'm gonna... Yeah, I have no idea. Well, I'm about to find out. I mean, it's coped quite well with... I've used it in one of the previous episodes and it coped quite well, so hopefully it will this time too. I'm hoping. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's raining, so that makes it even more fun, right? <laughs> I do wish they'd got the um, the windscreen wipers to work in this, though. I hope they do that at some point. If not on this one, at least on the um, whatever the next game's going to be. It does seem a bit strange driving in the rain with no windscreen wipers. A bit of both. I try to do first person as much as possible. I like it. I like first person better. But it sometimes depends on how well I can see the road. But I also like to see how the wheels are doing in the mud. So sometimes I'll just stick my... I'll come out to watch the wheels in the mud and the water like I'm doing now. What about you? What do you prefer? Mm. It also depends, I think, which vehicle I'm driving. Some of them I can see better than others. Do you drive in real life? No, me neither. Right, all right, so you you can drive, but I can't drive at all. Right. Okay. Yeah, all the bridges should be opened up. It's one of the first things I tend to do when I get to an area, I just open up as much of it as I can, as quickly as I can. It's a little bit of lag now and then, but not too much. Yeah. Yes. Which is fair enough. Right. Cool, it was quick. Yeah. There we go. Get past that way, okay. Hmm. 
slow going. It does seem to be struggling a bit with the load on the back, which is interesting because it doesn't struggle with it. I've just shifted up into high gear. It doesn't really struggle with it on the trailer bed, if that makes sense. On the bed, truck bed. Oh, there we go, we're saving again. I nearly hit a pole. <laughs> Right, so bricks, two bricks, one metal beam, and we just need to turn around here. Without knocking anything off. Right, we're on the way. No, I wonder if I should avoid the swamp. I think I might avoid the swamp. Just in case. Take the road. Yeah, you can go up to the, yeah, the left-hand side, which, yeah, probably should have did, but I've come over this way instead. I think it might even be a little bit better. So I'll come down onto the main road and then I could just follow that round, which will be easier on this truck, I think. It's doing okay, though, to be fair. It's doing not bad. No, on you go. You can, you can go. Um, leave it because it, it it will disappear once I get there and uh, finish off the task. It'll go. It just waits until the task, the, the contract's completed before it goes anywhere. As long as there's space for me to get in beside it, it's fine. And I'll be there in a couple of minutes. I don't know if you want to um, have a look at the tasks and choose a task if you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's that's gonna be one of the contracts. It might not be unlocked yet, so yeah. Right, okay. Have have you done that one before? <laughs> Alright, okay. 
Yeah, I know. I I um, in my other playthrough. Yeah, my first one I did it. I peeled it over the water with the Fleet Star. It took me forever. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I used the Fleet Star to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. So you're more than welcome to take it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm coming. A bit of a shortcut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's all like what Night Wolf does. He abandons trailers all over the place. And then he says to me, I've not got any money. I'm like, you've got like a million dollars worth of trailers lying around your maps. Just go sell them. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, yeah, I took a shortcut and avoided the swamp, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. carry on. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Right. Mm, it's brightening up a bit. Now, moving that thing's probably certainly going to... Well, you're not going to get it done in this episode, so... Um, we're not going to complete it in this episode. Seriously? Okay, I'll, 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 I'm interested in seeing that. It took me about 12 hours the first time I did it. <laughs> but you've got a different truck, so... The second time I did it, I waited till I'd gone to Russia and grabbed a hold of the Dan. The Dan did it so much quicker, I have to say. So much easier. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have completed everything, so... You might have to put that into the box or it won't disappear. Oh no, wait a minute, it should be alright because it does say it's done, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so... Let's, um... Active... Not a drill. Yeah, but you're going to have to deliver the two metal beams first, then the oil rig drill, and then the construction semi-trailer. So it's the third thing, and it's grayed out until you do the rest. So I don't know if you want to... Now, it might be on Smithfield Dam, because I know you can get them there. Uh, so I suspect... We might go, oh, I'm just saying, so that's storage. Um, <coughs> right, that's drilling site. Yeah, oil rig drill is going to be in Smithfield. So, um, do you want me to go and get that if you go and get the two metal beams? 
Ja. Yeah. Yeah, if you reset back, it'll be grand. I'll just take this one, but um, actually I might have to reset this one too because I need a, a low for the thing. I'm going to need a low loader. Saddle, a low load saddle. Um, where's the nearest? Um, yeah. But do you know where to go? And well, if you go, I mean, you can go to Smithfield if you want, but. Uh, what's it? Where oh, the warehouse is? <coughs> mhm. Mm oh yeah, I've pretty much um, got the tasks all done, and the uh, yeah. I've got about 15 minutes and then I'm going to have to take a break because I need to go and do some other stuff. So, yeah, we wouldn't get the not a draw one finished. But if you want to go and do one of the tasks. Okay, if you do the stuck trailer, right, you do that. Okay, and I can go and get the the cut inside trailer one, then I can activate that one and do that one, and I can drop this off at the trailer store the trailer off on the way. okay, let's do that then do -ba -do -ba -do. Let's turn around, try not to. Get stuck. Then we could maybe do not a drill another day. So maybe do a not a drill another day. I might do some. I might edit the videos that I've made today, and then we'll keep our fingers crossed that the next time I come on this game, it's still okay and everything's still working. All right, oh, it's muddy. Might just be getting to the trail at this rate. Could have gone the other way, but hey ho. Okay. And I'm going to deliver the curtain side trail. I'm doing motel woes. So I'm going to head this way. See how long it takes me to get there, actually. Should get it done in this episode. I'm going well. really interesting how much just put a trailer on the back of it slows it down. Grab some fuel as well when I get to the. Oh yeah, it was on its side the last time I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
As they do, these trees are vicious. I wonder if I can. No. I really don't like tree life too much, I don't think. Yep, we're up right, so. Where am I? <coughs> probably not the best route to take. Probably should have just went back along the road, but you know. It's good to see different places. Interesting to see how this gets across the water. No, no, I'm not stuck. I'm just trying to go faster than I really should be going in this mud. And of course it fails, so then I have to drop down to low gear again and diff lock. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to push it too much. Maybe stuck in a minute, depends how well I get across this water. Going. Right, I'm definitely going to go to the get rid of this trailer first before I go pick up the current side one, so I kind of go past where it is. It's dark outside. Oh, hey! Oh yeah, we've got, got about, oh yeah, actually you know what, I forgot to hit resume so I paused it. <laughs> Hold on till I check a second. Yeah, save this. I have not, yeah, I'll just get out the water. Anyway, we've kind of run out of time for the day everyone, so I'm going to just uh, get this out the water and then we'll stop there. 
and finish off this task in the next episode. But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the past couple of episodes where Jack's been kind enough to join us. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now everybody. <laughs>